the pines how to tell them from other trees the pines belong to the coniferous class of trees that is trees which bear cones the pines may be told from other coniferous trees by their leaves which are in the form of needles two inches or more in length these needles keep green throughout the entire year this is characteristic of all coniferous trees except the larch and cypress which shed their leaves in winter the pines are widely distributed throughout the northern hemisphere and include about eighty distinct species with over six hundred varieties the species enumerated here are especially common in the eastern part of the united states growing either native in the forest or under cultivation in the parks the pines form a very important class of timber trees and produce beautiful effects when planted in groups in the parks how to tell them from each other the pine needles are arranged in clusters each species has a certain characteristic number of needles to the cluster and this fact generally provides the simplest and most direct way of distinguishing the different pines the white pine pinus strobus distinguishing characters the tree can be told at close range by the number of needles to each cluster there are five needles to each cluster of the white pine they are bluish green slender and about four inches in length at a distance the tree may be told by the right angles which the branches form with the main trunk no other pine shows this character form and size a tall tree the stateliest of the evergreens range eastern north america soil and location prefers a deep sandy soil but will grow in almost any soil enemies sucking insects forming white downy patches on the bark and twigs the white pine weevil a boring insect and the white pine blister rust a fungus are among its principal enemies value for planting aside from its value as an ornamental tree the white pine is an excellent tree to plant on abandoned farms and for woodlands and windbreaks throughout the new england states new york pennsylvania and the lake states commercial value the wood is easily worked light durable and will not warp it is used for naval construction lumber shingles lathes interior finish woodenware etc other characters the fruit is a cone four to six inches long comparisons the tree is apt to be confused with the botan pine pinus excelsa which is commonly grown as an ornamental tree the botan pine however has needles much longer and more drooping in appearance the pitch pine pinus rigida distinguishing characters here there are three needles to each cluster they are dark yellowish green needles about four inches long the rough looking branches of the tree may be seen studded with cones throughout the year and clusters of leaves may be seen sprouting directly from the trunk of the tree the last two are very characteristic and will distinguish the tree at a glance form and size it is a low tree of uncertain habit and extremely rough looking at every stage of its life it is constantly full of dead branches and old cones which persist on the tree throughout the year range eastern united states soil and location grows in the poorest and sandiest soils where few other trees will grow in new jersey and on long island where it is native it proves so hardy and persistent that it often forms pure stands excluding other trees enemies none of importance value for planting well adapted for the sea coast and other exposed places it is of extremely uncertain habit and is subject to the loss of the lower limbs it frequently presents a certain picturesqueness of outline but it could not be used as a specimen tree on the lawn commercial value the wood is coarse grained and is used for rough lumber fuel and charcoal other characters the fruit is a cone one to three inches long persistent on the tree for several years the scotch pine pinus silvestris distinguishing characters there are two needles to each cluster and these are short compared with those of the white pine and slightly twisted the bark especially along the upper portion of the trunk is reddish in color form and size a medium-sized tree with a short crown range europe asia and eastern united states soil and location will do best on a deep rich sandy soil but will also grow on a dry porous soil enemies in europe the scotch pine has several insect enemies but in america it appears to be free from injury value for planting suitable for windbreaks and woodland planting many excellent specimens may also be found in our parks commercial value in the united states the wood is chiefly used for fuel though slightly used for barrels boxes and carpentry in europe the scotch pine is an important timber tree